I fell in love with Africa when I was a student. Um, I took a trip there one summer and it just blew me away. How friendly people were, how beautiful the environment was, and how there was this real sense of humanity and people being very connected. Um, that just changed my life. But the real life-changing moment came when award-winning journalist Jeffrey Gettleman was living in Newark, New Jersey and working for the New York Times. He was assigned to Eastern Africa. For me, it was a dream job um, because it gave me the license to explore a part of the world that's really interesting, really beautiful, um, really different from, from anything that I had experienced growing up. And it's exciting. His coverage on Somali pirates earned him a Pulitzer Prize. I would go into some of their pirate dens and interview these characters about how they ran their business. Um, and they were very colorful and, and dynamic. They're criminals, they're gangsters, but they carry themselves with a certain amount of self-confidence and bravado. And the world was paralyzed by these poor fishermen going out into the middle of the ocean uh, in their little dinghies, uh, hijacking enormous ships, holding them for ransom. Wanting to report on more than pirates, war, and economic strife, the 20-year veteran journalist penned his first novel, Love Africa, a memoir of romance, war, and survival. The book is an adventure story. It's an escape. And that was part of my goal of writing it, was to write a story about you know, a kind of ordinary person like myself discovering this beautiful, warm part of the world. And the life he's built in Nairobi for his family, he finds to be both ordinary and extraordinary. So we have two boys who are both, who are both made in Africa, born in Africa, have grown up in Africa, speak Swahili. Um, that's all they know. But it was important to us, you know. We, I, I really care about this part of the world, and I wanted my family to feel connected. And it's a, it's a wonderful place to grow up. Because this is Africa. Time